2022 Volkswagen Passat starting at $28,290. Overview. The 2022 Volkswagen Passat doesn't excite like the flashier, speedier family sedans it competes against. Parked next to the low and wide Hyundai Sonata or the sleek Kia K5, the VW looks why bland. Although its interior is equally unassuming, it's put together well and boasts pleasant materials. The Passat's cabin is also a spacious place, particularly in the back seat. This along with its myriad standard driver assists, such as automated emergency braking and blind spot monitoring, make it a solid choice for families. Its four-cylinder powertrain operates without fuss, but it's notably slower than rivals such as the Honda Accord. And VW doesn't offer all-wheel drive or a hybrid variant like many of its classmates. Still, the 2022 Passat possesses a comfortable ride and attractive pricing. For some customers, those traits and its refined German disposition might be preferable to more popular mid-size alternatives. What's new for 2022? Volkswagen will bid farewell to the Passat after the 2022 model year, but the brand is sending it off with a special limited edition model. Among the 1973 copies that VW will build, 423 of them will be coated in an exclusive racing green metallic paint, as seen on the VW Atlas SUV. The Passat Limited Edition also rides on 15-spoke 18-inch wheels and has distinct exterior detailing. Along with an assortment of upscale interior features including leather upholstery, heated front and rear seats, built-in navigation, and a Fender Audio SYSTEM there are call-outs to the Chattanooga assembly plant in Tennessee, where the Passat has been built for the past decade. We'd recommend the Passat SE, which comes standard with plenty of features that family sedan buyers will appreciate, including touchscreen infotainment with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability, 17-inch wheels, heated front seats, adaptive cruise control, automatic climate control, lane-keeping assist, and rain-sensing windshield wipers. Engine, transmission, and performance. The Passat has a single powertrain option. A 174 horsepower turbocharged 2.0 liter four cylinder and a six speed automatic transmission. In our testing, the engine was smooth and refined throughout its rev range and helped move the sedan with ease. The automatic is mostly a smooth operator, but occasionally it stumbled during our testing when crawling along at low speeds in heavy traffic. Whether eating up highway miles or tooling down back roads, the Passat is up to the challenge. It combines a soft, almost luxurious ride with predictable handling, providing a vehicle that's as comfortable as it is capable. Steering is accurate and well-weighted, but as with many others in the class, it doesn't offer as much feedback as we want. Fuel economy and real-world MPG. The Passat's turbocharged four-cylinder engine's EPA fuel economy is average among family sedans, and many rivals offer more efficient models and hybrid options. The VW's 24 miles per gallon city and 36 miles per gallon highway estimates trail those of the four-cylinder Toyota Camry. We tested both on our 75 mile per hour fuel economy route, which is part of our extensive testing regimen. The Passat earned 36 miles per gallon, while the Camry delivered an impressive 42 miles per gallon. Interior, comfort, and cargo. Inside the Passat, clean, straight lines follow Volkswagen's unassuming design language. The Passat's interior is handsome in a German, utilitarian way, but it's lacking true inspiration to earn our full praise. The Volkswagen's cabin is incompletely without merit, though, it's among the most spacious and comfortable in its segment. With an open cabin and thin door pillars, outward visibility in the Passat is excellent. There is little variation in cargo capacity among family sedans. With the seats folded to their not-quite-flat resting position, we managed to fit 16 carry-on-sized boxes behind the front seats. The Passat fell to the bottom of the family sedan pack for real-world carrying capacity, 
perhaps because Volkswagen sacrificed some trunk space to the Passat's huge back seat. Infotainment and connectivity. The standard infotainment system includes a 6.3-inch touchscreen with a three-month subscription to Sirius XM satellite radio, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability, and several USB ports. The top model adds navigation, a larger 8.0-inch display, a premium sound system, and a six-month subscription to VW's CarNet services. This allows users to locate the vehicle, call for roadside assistance, and even lock-unlock the doors remotely from their smartphone. Safety and driver assistance features. While even the base model has several standard driver assistance technologies, only the top trim has the most advanced equipment. For more information about the Passat's crash test results, visit the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NHTSA, and Insurance Institute for Highway Safety IAS, websites. The 2022 Volkswagen Passat is light on personality but offers solid sedan motoring. What kind of vehicle is the 2022 Volkswagen Passat? What does it compare to? The Passat is a mid-size sedan with plenty of room for four or even five passengers and decent turbocharge punch. It's worth shopping against the Toyota Camry, Honda Accord, and Nissan Altima. What's new for the 2022 Volkswagen Passat? For its final year, the Passat exits in a grand style with a number of limited edition models. This sedan was updated just a couple of years ago with fresh styling inside and out, but its bones are much older. That shows through in a number of ways, including limited crash avoidance tech and infotainment that doesn't match VW's best. Under hood, look for a 174 horsepower 2.0 liter turbo 4 paired with a 6 speed automatic transmission and front wheel drive. The Passat is grunty enough, with good handling, but rivals offer far more sophistication and the allure of thrifty hybrid engines. Inside, the Passat is a bit narrow against its competitors, but offers plenty of space for four. Its furnishings are conservative, though functional, and this year's close-out trims offer some additional spice. The standard 8.0-inch display fits the dash better than last year's base screen. Both come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. Automatic emergency braking and blind spot monitors are standard equipment, 